morning everyone i am so excited i can actually make this video so um if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you will know that every iphone day so the new when the day the new iphones come out i i make a vlog out of them i go pick them up i, I kind of have fun with it and it's a great way to uh just enjoy myself to make videos and most importantly, kind of document the day so I can look back at it in the future. So this year with the pandemic and everything, I wasn't sure if we'd actually even get to go to the Apple store to pick up these phones, but uh, Apple does do pick up. They do it very safely. They've got um, a very streamlined process. So uh, I did choose to pick up my 12 mini and 12 Pro Max in store. So uh, I'm gonna take you along for the journey. And today I thought, why not show you what goes into uh, set up and doing everything else. So uh, I'm gonna take you over and show you my uh, filming setup right now and exactly what I'm doing. But actually I forgot before that, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what uh, else I need to grab. So right now I'm gonna grab the iPhone 12 and the iPhone um, 11 Pro, I'm sorry, the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro Max box so I can compare the 12 and 12 mini. So uh, let me grab that and I'll probably grab the iPhone SE box as well because that'll get me uh, kind of that size comparison. So let me grab that and show you guys what how I keep my boxes and everything. So in my room resides this, my treasure chest of iPhones and iPads. So this is, um, this box is just iPhones and iPads. I have a completely other one for MacBooks and for um, Apple Watches. So let's get to them. They're organized pretty well. So I have a general idea of where to look so this is the this extreme side is all the big boxes so this is where the uh 11 pro max box will be probably at the very end uh of course it is there we go so let me grab that out so perfect i need that let's put this aside and kind of stack everything back down there boom iphone uh that's the 8 plus the one below it was 10s this is the uh, iPhone 7 Plus, 6S Plus, iPhone 10s, iPhone 10, iPhone 10, iPhone 11, I'm sorry, iPhone 10R, and there we go, iPhone 11. And while I'm at it, the iPhone SE box, I can actually see that right there. I'm gonna grab that as well. So 10R goes back, 11 goes back, I'm sorry, 10, 10, and let's keep the 5S there. And boom, we have the iPhone SE right here as well. So, iPhone SE box. So, gonna grab these three boxes, put them on my desk real quick. So I can close that back up. And all right. So, let me grab those boxes and head over to where I film. So for anyone that's wondered what a um, what it looks like behind the scenes when I film this, this is what it looks like. So right here is my desk. So this is the main part. This is what you guys see. Uh, this is what I get, you know, when I have the camera top down, this is kind of the angle you'll see here from this camera. So, you know, that's what it is. And then of course I've got a second tripod. This is where uh, my iPhone will mount. So if I slide the iPhone into here, you guys can see this is the second view that you usually get uh, when you're watching my videos and let's look at some other stuff. So this is a tripod. It comes out kind of like this and it gives me that beautiful top down shot that I need. And then right here we have these light stands. So I've got uh, this umbrella light thing with another LED light here because this one just doesn't get right enough and I have these LED lights anyway. So I use them. They are portable ones, but they get the job done. So this is what it looks like right over here. Again, that other tripod for that B angle. And then, you know, just a bunch of random accessories here from previous unboxings. Um, and that's what the setup looks like. Now it's not very complicated, but it definitely, you know, can become complicated quickly. A lot of things, a lot of moving parts. You guys can see the cables all over the place. Uh, it's just the nature of this. Uh, of course, you know, uh, this camera, I have to manually focus all the time. So whenever I'm filming, I'll be filming like this and so I'll often be just uh, looking at the uh, ring and this display camera. So let me turn it on so you guys can see what it looks like. So when I'm sitting here, I, I have to, more than looking down towards the video, I, I usually look at the screen so I can make sure that things are in focus and that, uh, you know, they're not crazy or anything because if it's out of focus, then, you know, the quality of the video is just automatically garbage. And then here's my microphone. So it's a very basic setup. Uh, it's the Zoom H1 mic with a lapel mic attached to it. I um, This is what I use. Audio quality is fantastic. 
It's very simple and it just works, you know. This is so simple that it actually still runs on a AA battery, uh, not a rechargeable one or not an inbuilt one. So that's a, you know, it's a very simple thing, but uh, it really helps audio quality. Um, the tripods, these most like, um, the ones for this one, the this is all Amazon basics, but uh, this one is a Vanguard Alta Pro. Uh, this is a, this was quite expensive. It was a couple hundred dollars, but it's totally worth it. I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it. Uh, and it's just so simple to get these top down shots on them uh, compared to some other solutions I tried. It's just, uh, it's definitely the one that works the best. So uh, now that I've got all these in, in order, so all I have to do is when I come back with the iPhones from the store, I have to come in, just turn on these lights, uh, you know, just turn them on and I'm good to go. That's just kind of uh, why I have it all already set up and ready to go. So this is the setup and this is what it looks like. So now that I've shown you guys the setup and everything, uh, it's just about time to uh, hit the road, get to the Apple store and pick up the new iPhones. All right, guys, so I have made it to the Apple store and uh, very lucky for me, I got parking right out front, which is very rare here. So uh, there is already a line. Uh, my pickup slot is actually not until uh, 8.30 and it's only what, 8.05. So um, they usually don't mind. They just have you stand in line and then if there's anyone who has a higher slot before you, they just send them in until there's no one and then they'll send you in. So um, it's usually okay to come a couple of minutes ahead of time. They really don't mind. They'll just kind of uh, monitor the line based on that. So what's uh, you guys can kind of see here, they've got the socially distant li distanced line outside. Uh, you know, the, the employees will get your time, your uh, information and everything. They'll have you stand in specific places. And then one by one by one, they'll send you in. It usually, um, uh, it'll take you it'll take them a couple of minutes to do that itself and then somebody will help you uh through the process they'll assign one person and they help you out so uh, i know all this because i picked up my iphone 12 in the same fashion as well so uh overall a pretty uh streamlined process here now i won't be able to film or talk much inside i'll try to grab a couple of clips but uh uh, next time I'll probably mostly be uh, just with the phones and I'll show you guys the phones. All right guys, so that was a pretty good uh, success there. Uh, in and out before 8.30, that's awesome. Uh, you know, that was my first allotted time. Uh, no, it was actually 8.15. So now, out in and out in about uh, 20 minutes, not bad at all. So I know what we're all waiting for, so let's do it. We've got in this bag, what is this one? We've got the 12 mini, so let me pull these out. Got a couple cases for them as well. So everybody really enjoys the case video, so that's something I'm going to be doing. All right, I'm already dropping things. So we've got the 12 mini MagSafe case. I want to try this out and see what it's uh, like compared to a Spigen case. That's why I'm probably not going to be keeping this. I'm going to be keeping this one, the uh, 12 mini leather case MagSafe. Uh, you know, it is $60, so $10 more expensive than last year, but... I mean, who, who, what can we even say at this point for Apple? Uh, and of course, the 12 mini. So I did get a glimpse of uh, a 12 mini in the store and it was uh, it was cool. So uh, excited for this. Of course, you've got the blue iPhone uh, lettering there. Now I've already seen a uh, 12, so that's not, the, uh, that's not what I'm excited about. I'm more excited about the 12 Pro, which is in the other bag. So let me grab that. And let's see, it's way heavier, I can tell. Right, just with the bag. Man, that box is super heavy. This is very heavy for being not much in it. So here's the box. You got the black with the blue iPhone written there. Blue Apple logo. Pretty nice. So of course, it's the Pacific blue one that I got. I know um, that it's a little bit cliche, but the, the Pacific blue looks really nice. And I've been with the space gray models for quite a long time. So I thought finally, let's change it up a little bit. The graphite looks just as sexy too. So, I mean, really hard decision. And then I got the, um, Pacific blue, uh, leather case. This looks really nice. Um, I think that, uh, it'll be a nice compliment to the Pacific blue iPhone. Uh, is this called Pacific blue? Yeah, no, it's called Baltic Blue. Okay, so yeah, Baltic Blue. So got the Baltic Blue and the uh, 
uh, and the Pacific blue. And one thing I've noticed is that the case and the box sizes are exactly the same. So, like, exactly the same. The only difference is that the uh, case has this uh, plastic tab to put on a hook. And uh, that's really cool. That's fantastic. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is uh, get going. I'm going to get going. We're going to get home and uh, make these uh, videos. So you can actually already see the uh, line has started to thin out in the Apple store. So I spoke to the employee and uh, according to him, uh, they do have uh, stock, but it's not like the greatest either. So it's not crazy, but at the same time, uh, they're not rolling in stock either. So uh, that's uh, let's, let's get going and let's film these unboxing videos. Everything is set up and ready to go. I've got the other boxes here as well, just a couple of mess. So gonna have to start knocking these off one by one by one. So uh, as I said, just uh, let's get started. I'm gonna have to turn on the lights and get everything done, but it should be an interesting couple of uh, hours here getting everything filmed. Uh, and you know, it's always a challenge with so many things, just trying to keep track of things, keeping things organized, but it should be a fun couple of hours. So uh, I'm going to get this all filmed. And then once I get everything opened up, I'll give you guys a little bit of a demo and show you guys what all these new phones and cases look like. All right, guys. So I just finished filming all of these products. So, uh, I made, I think four different videos and, uh, it's going to be a quite a editing marathon now, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at all these products. So, uh, here's the Baltic Blue leather case for the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max. Uh, looks pretty cool. It's a very good match with the 12 uh, Pro, the, tw the Pacific Blue 12 Pro. Here is the Saddle Brown leather case for the iPhone 12 Mini. I really like this. I think it's going to pair very well with this. And as it ages, it should look awesome. Now, here are two clear cases. Here's the Apple MagSafe case, which is, uh, let's just say... Um, it's it's a design only a mother could love. It's 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 hideous. It's horrible. Okay, let's not sugarcoat it. Um, it's got this white magnet layout, but it is, you know, I did test it with another clear case. You know, if you're going to use MagSafe accessories, you might just want to end up using this. So, you know, that video is up as well. So if you want to check that out, check it out. So here are the main attractions, the iPhone uh, 12 mini. This is so cute. I love it. It looks so good. Uh, just comparing it to the iPhone SE, the original SE, you guys can see how close they are in size and just, you know, it's so cute. I love it. I, I really do. I think that um, this might just end up being my main phone as long as the battery isn't absolutely terrible. And then here's the big chunk. This is massive. Like, I, I don't know what I can do to represent the size on camera. It's just huge and it feels huge and it's heavy and like, Using it is not, is not going to be comfortable, and it's just, you know, I can't even get my thumb all the way to the edge of the screen. Like, it, it, I have to, like, reach. So, like, I can barely reach this, like, fourth, fifth row of apps here, which is crazy. Um, I could do it a lot easier on the older phones, but, you know, phones are getting bigger, and I can bitch about it all day, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, that's kind of the, all the products here. So, what I'm going to get going on now is I'm going to go unbox. I'm sorry. I'm going to go... Uh, grab all these uh, SD cards out of the camera out of uh, this is my B cam So I'm gonna have to airdrop the files off of this to my computer and my microphone here as well And oh, yeah here just take a look at the carnage sometimes that occurs when you have uh, So many products being filmed just kind of take them out and start uh, uh, Just doing things because now filming is kind of the priority. I can always organize it a little bit later, but uh, Yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. That's the uh, carnage ensued but uh, let's get to the editing part and I actually realized I haven't shown you my desk setup as to how I'm editing so let's jump over there and let me show you guys right, guys so we are here at my desk so I really haven't done a video on the setup of this but uh, let me guys get let me give you a quick tour so I've got a uh, monitor here a Samsung 4k monitor it's 28 inches I've got my MacBook hooked up to it and it's on a riser stand it's pretty cool I've got a eight terabyte external hard disk there just for you know keeping backups and stuff i've got this little lamp here with a hue light going i've got you know just random stuff a couple coins i've got some card ejector tools 
you know, security key. Um, you know, there's the a flash drive. Here's an iPad where I control, you know, my Hue lights and just, uh, it's kind of like a, a controller for the smart uh, stuff. I sometimes just listen to music off of it. Behind it, I've got a Bose sound bar. Sorry for all the dust. I, I didn't realize it was this dusty. Um, but yes, and then I've got, of course, this McLaren Salute to Speed, the iPhone, I'm sorry, the OnePlus 60 Special Edition. Uh, hmm. I've got uh, my Apple Watch SE charging here, and then just uh, a bunch of random stuff and knickknacks. And uh, so, uh, of course, I've got a Apple uh, Magic Keyboard and the Magic Trackpad and a Logic Logitech MX Master 3. Uh, I love this mouse. It's awesome. A little bit expensive, but worth it. Uh, and pretty much that's my desk setup and just a bunch of random stuff uh, lying around here and there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these SD cards into that uh, dongle. I'm going to start uh, editing, copying the videos, and then it should take me about, I'd say, 45 to a, minutes to an hour to finish the video and just to get things going. So let's get right on it. All right, guys, it has been a very long day, but the work is coming along. Uh, I have uploaded the iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing. I have actually even finished editing the 12 mini and it is getting uploaded right now. So as you guys can see, it's uh, processing right there. So just waiting on it to finish up so I can get it done. Now, uh, it's super late. So it's already 2.10, uh, 2.11, and I still haven't had lunch. So what I'm gonna be doing at this point is I'm going to uh, get this one uploaded and then I'm gonna go grab some lunch uh, and then come back and edit the case videos because the case videos usually do really well and I want to make sure I get those up alongside the phone unboxing as well. So uh, that's a midday update. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Okay, so here's a little bit of an update. So it's about 9.25 p.m. And um, unfortunately what ended up happening was I came down with a really horrible migraine at like something like 2.33 after having lunch so I ended up just having to you know go go to bed and get a little bit of a rest in because when I get migraines I'm just completely debilitated so um I unfortunately wasn't able to get these videos out as quickly as I wanted to you know the, especially the case videos but I'm I'm getting back to work and I hope to have them up soon these are short videos so it shouldn't take me more than I think 25 to 30 minutes to edit and upload them um, the, the longest part with these videos, I have to say, is more the, um, you know, getting a good thumbnail picture, getting, uh, you know, uh, sh stuff like that. So just for example, let me open up, um, you know, some, a file, you know, so you guys can kind of see my organization here. Let me open up the 12 Pro Max. So uh, right here I have the core audio and the core video of the um of the video so these are all the files and then you know i also have to get the uh some b-roll shots and some uh, pictures for a thumbnail so you know I, I got a couple of these and um you know what happened was i tried them out and i didn't like them so i had to do them again so here's another one so here's uh, just another uh, shot of b-roll so this is just something i like to include in the videos just to kind of give a an angle and a second opinion on this stuff but sometimes it just um you know it, it takes up a lot of time in planning and those shots don't come out right sometimes like um this one you know like I'm, I'm not happy with the way it came out the phone looks good but i don't like the way the background looks now the thing is i don't have a ton of time when i'm trying to get videos up quickly to get good b-roll shots you know i need to get them quick so i just try to run out to my balcony or um out onto the street outside of my apartment and get a couple of b-roll shots so you know given if i had a little bit more time and this wasn't kind of a rush job to get these videos up quick uh it would be a little bit different but you know just this is kind of a a challenge that i deal with especially with video production um and it's it's something i i can't talk about with general videos but with a vlog where this is what i'm doing all day it makes a little bit more sense to include this so now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to um get these uh files get get this new project going for the uh, leather case for the iphone 12 pro max um and the 12 pro max is right here by the way i still haven't really set it up at all it's just kind of sitting there um so what i'm going to do now is get that edited and see how far i can get through the night before i have to you know uh, get up and do something else. All right, so now that I ended up wasting daylight since I had to uh, kind of take a break there because of my migraine, um, I finished editing that video with the Baltic Blue case, but now I have to get some B-roll. So right now this is my kind of just kind of run and go situation. I've got my 
iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max here, taking a couple angles, and I've got my DSLR here as well. I got the lights going, so I'm um, just you know, going to get a quick shot, a couple of shots. I prefer to do these outside usually. The natural light just uh, makes getting these so much nicer, and they look good too when you do them outside. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of what it looks like. I'm going to have to uh, do this for each and every uh, case I have. Uh, so there's going to be three different ones, so I have to get B-roll for all of them. So there's the mag safe i have to do there's the uh leather one and um there's also this uh spigen one that i have to do so yeah just a uh, lot to do and uh you gotta get these done quick because they hold up a lot you know i finished the edit now but i'm just holding up uh, and getting this done now so once this is done i can rush over put these into that video and then i can finally edit and export it all right guys so final update of the day let's wrap things up it is 11.05 p.m., so quite a late day. I have uploaded all three videos I wanted to today. So I've got the 12 Pro Max unboxing, the 12 Mini unboxing, and the uh, 12 Pro Leather Max F case in blue, blue, Baltic blue. So that's a really cool case. Uh, very cool color uh, combo going on there. Very proud of that video. Uh, it's been a super long day, and I still haven't even set up these iPhones yet, so you guys can see. Uh, they're just kind of the basic there. I, I haven't even, like, logged in or anything, so I really need to set these up. Uh, I want to mess around with them for a little bit. Uh, and just, you know, I did film five videos today, but I, I always uh, planned on just uploading three today and doing the other two tomorrow. Um, if you upload more than three videos, YouTube stops sending out... Um, the notifications for the video uploads for that day so i i decided just let's do three today and the rest of the tomorrow so uh now i'm just gonna set these up uh get myself some dinner and also finish editing up the other two videos uh so the two that are left are the 12 mini saddle ground case and the uh comparison between the clear mag safe case and a uh spy gen clear case just to see what the difference is and if that 50 dollars uh, clear case is worth it or not. I mean, it wasn't last time, but let's see with MagSafe if there's any changes. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about the new phones or anything, please feel free to ask me down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on social media. I'll have all the handles right here on the screen and of course uh, down in the description as well. And all the links to the videos I filmed today as well will be in the description. So go check those out if you haven't already. I put a lot of hard work into them. And I think they're a lot of fun. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.